Hey YouTube, I'm uh, uploading the new scape for the first time. I redid this whole tank, um, as I think you can see. I got some new plants, it looks a lot more open. I'm really a fan of this, this new scape. The java moss is really hard to get because it's so bushy, but I'll show you what I did. I basically picked up all the wood and moved it around. So now I just have it standing vertically in two different places with the java moss on it. I mentioned in my last video that I have a couple of pregnant shrimp. Um, I'll try to find some. I leave the algae grow on this glass because this is the glass that gets the morning sun. And then that algae feeds the nerite snail very handily. She loves to eat on that green dust algae so I just let her eat it and it's not too bad from the front you just kinda see a little bit there and that's just my snail grazing ground so no biggie the neons are looking really good um, apparently New Life Spectrum really does do what it says it does it does make the colors of your fish a lot brighter I don't know if you can see but on the dorsal fin they have a red spot also so they're they're some of the most vividly colored neons I've had in a long time. Um, I got some crypts from the local PetSmart. I'm not sure exactly what species yet. I'm going to let them grow out and decide. I've been pretty regularly pruning off any leaves that look like they're starting to melt. And as a result, everything else is growing really well. There's even some new growth down here at the bottom that you can see. Uh, this root that's running right there is wrapping around a rock and running down as a runner now so they've only been planted for about a week and they're already starting to throw out a runner and growing really well I was surprised because normally you hear about crypt melt I put a third one in the back here and oddly enough that one seems to be doing really well too I also changed the sponge up in my filter back there. I did have some filter floss that was a finer fiber. I cut up an AquaClear sponge real thin and stuffed in there. And since the water flow from the filter has been a lot better. And it works as a really good pre-filter also. So I just take it out when I do a water change and squeeze it every couple of times. I don't do it every water change. Part of the reason I really like this new layout is you see the shrimp a lot more. And to be honest, the shrimp are my favorite critters in the tank. There's one hiding in the moss. Here's a weird one. I can't figure this one out. This looks like a pregnant female, but it's really tiny and it hasn't developed its color yet. So I don't know what's going on with it. I'm going to keep an eye on it, though. But it looks like it's setting up to be a buried female, but it doesn't look like a female in any other respect. This is what most of my females look like. In fact, there's a couple of them out on the shell here. The guppies, not to be outshone by the shrimp, were insistently swimming up and down. I think they think they're going to get some food.
So up here I have some wisteria floating. There's also some duckweed mixed in. I have two little leaves of duckweed in there. I'm hoping to get it to grow. 